Hey everybody, it's Bob from Wishlist Master, and uh, in this video I'm going to talk about dealing with uh, people whose credit cards are declined uh, when you're using the Wishlist member Stripe integration. I think uh, that integration is really nice. It's a really affordable way to process credit cards and handle credit cards. And if you're not ready to go up to a shopping cart yet, which, by the way, solves lots of these problems, um, it's, you know, it, it's a good solution. But one of the missing links in the whole process is that neither Stripe nor uh, Wishlist sends a notification to people whose credit cards are declined. And as you know, after the, the target hacking and the Home Depot hackings last year, uh, we've had a lot of people replace their credit cards. And, you know, not everybody remembers where they have a credit card set up for auto payment. I know I don't. And uh, um, so in this case with the, the Stripe integration, people's cards can be declined and then they wind up getting canceled and don't even know it. So we're going to talk about that. Um, I've got uh, come up with some good solutions for it. Part is uh, better communication on the website, which uh, we're not going to really cover in, in this video. And I've got an automated solution as well, a free and elegant automated solution uh, that I'm going to share in uh, another post. And that's a lot more involved, so uh, that's going to take some time. Uh, but in this video, we're going to talk about a manual system. Uh, and I thought I'd do this one first because it's something you can begin doing immediately. It's not hard to do. It only takes about five minutes. And uh, and it may work perfectly well for you and your business. Hopefully, you don't have a lot of declined credit cards, but it happens. So what we're going to do is take a look at Stripe. Um, Stripe has some uh, pretty nice reporting capabilities that enable you to find these canceled credit cards. They're not canceled credit cards, but declined credit cards pretty quickly. And uh, we're looking at a uh, Stripe dashboard right here. Uh, the first thing we're going to do uh, before we get into finding the, uh, the failed charges is to take a look at something that's really important, and that's um, how you schedule out um, declined credit cards. So the first thing we're going to do is go up here to the top, and this is the settings in this account. And uh, I have this blurred out so you can't see the account. And we're going to go to account settings. And what we want to do is go up here to subscriptions. So I'm going to click on subscriptions. And this is the the series that people go through when um, when their credit card is declined. And by the way, this happens pretty frequently, especially the first time. So in this case, um, say, for example, somebody has a credit card. They put through a credit card charge on May the 1st. Okay. Well, the system waits three days after the first failed attempt. Okay. So it tries again on May 3rd. Credit card's bad again. It then tries again on May the 6th. And it's bad again. It tries again on the 9th. And if it doesn't happen on the 9th, then the subscription is canceled. So I always recommend tightening this up and not doing three, five, and seven days. But, you know, everybody's market is different. Okay, let's go back to um, the dashboard. And I'm just going to show you how to do the uh, searching. Some of the technology or some of the terminology in Stripe is... Uh, rather, well, it's not daunting, but, you know, Stripe is made for developers, so uh, they get pretty geeky inside here. But what you want to do is look down here. See where it says events and webhooks. Now, an event in Stripe is anytime something happens. So charging somebody's credit card is an event. So what we want to do is look at events and webhooks. So I'm going to click on this, okay, and here's a list, and this is a list of everything that happened. So see, one just happened. And what you want to do is find the ones that are uh, failed credit card charges. And you have to search for this very specifically. So you go up here to Filters. So we're going to click on Filters, and you want to choose Type. Now, in that box, you have to type the words charge.failed. And you have to spell it correctly charge.failed. If you don't put that in there, it's not going to find it. 
And that's actually a, a tag they use within Stripe. And uh, so I'm going to do that. Choose Done. It's going to pull up the failed charges. And uh, we've got this blurred out, but you can see right here, here's the last one that happened here was on the 21st of, uh, of April. And there was another one the second. So if you, if you look at this every couple of days, it's not going to change much. But, uh, you know, if you have this set for, you know, each phase is every three days. If you look at it twice a week, then you're going to catch these things. So you can just look, you can see, um, you can't see this, but we can see the person's email address. You can actually just copy the email address, paste it into, um, you know, a canned email that you have and send the message out to the person. And what I recommend is you send them a message saying, oh, we're sorry, uh, your credit card's been declined for some reason. Uh, if you have a new credit card um, or if it's expired, please go here to take care of it. And then you send them a link to your subscription management page. And if you if you have a Stripe integration and you haven't done that, um, I'll, I'll make another video on how to do it. It's very simple to do. But here's an example of a subscription management page. And this one has a login form because they may not be logged in. So on this one, we put a login form, login form on here. And so we're just going to... And here it is right here. Notice the login form disappeared. We have that set up special. So right here, to update your credit card information, click down there, update credit card information. Uh, but that's one of the really nice parts of the, is that it has the ability to do this. And if you have um, multiple payments, say it's a monthly subscription, you'll see all of them listed down here. But in this case, it's just one. So that's the easy and quick manual method. Um, come back soon and I'll show you an automated system that I think works well without having to write, uh, write or pay to write any code. And uh, that's it. So thanks again. And uh, one more time, this is Bob from Wishlist Master at wishlistmaster.com. Thank you.